Welcome to Chiron Labs, and today I'm going to show you three different techniques to put swabs to agar. So first we need a spore swab, I have some grafting tape set aside, and I have these tweezers from Harbor Free. So I'm going to wipe down with some isopropyl alcohol. I chose the tweezers that I want, and now I'm going to unpackage my spore swab. So we want to make sure that we're pulling from the farthest side away from the uh, cotton tips. For this first one, I'm going to be doing a square-like pattern. So each line will give us less and less spores and hopefully less and less contamination. But we'll just follow the growth and see how it goes. For the second one, I'm going to reuse the same swab. So first I'm going to sterilize these needle nose tweezers with a torch. I'm going to let it cool down for a second. Then I'm going to start picking the cotton right off the top of this swab. And then I'm going to put it right in the center of the plate. Um, you might have to use a swab to kind of pull it off. Anyways, when you're done with that, cap it up. And now we have one swab left. So I'm going to bring out these thicker pair of tweezers. I'm going to sterilize them with the torch. And I'm going to hold this closer to the head of the swab. I'm going to break it off. You'll notice that I forgot to pull the grafting tape out of this shot. So if you have a flow hood, um, don't put anything in front of your agar plates. But anyways, that's how you break the tip off. And now I'm just going to wrap these plates up real quick. Um, for... The last one, you're going to notice that the head rolls around a little bit, and that's okay, just center it when you're done. If you found this video helpful, please share.